Welcome back to filmmarriott.net on YouTube. Today we're reviewing the movie Beast. So this movie, written and directed by Michael Pierce, stars Jesse Buckley, Johnny Flynn, and the fabulous Geraldine James. But is the movie fabulous? Raj is here. Beast was really good, actually. Oh I my was god! Quite pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure if you were going to be into it because this is my kind of film. I know that we have differences in in movie taste sometimes. We do, and definitely differences in TV taste sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but actually, when you sent me the information about it, I was like, oh, what is this? Mm, I don't know. And then I read one line that said, uh, well, I think it was an adult fairy tale. Yeah. And I was like, well, I can get into that. It's a really good description. It kind of sums up the movie, I think. I mean, everything seems really comfortable on the outside because there's a lot of lightness in the movie, but obviously there's a lot of darkness too, which you finally you know, is finally revealed. Anyway, Jessie Buckley plays uh, Mole. She's 27, she's living at home, kind of suffocated by her family, really, particularly her mother, who's played by Geraldine James. Oh my God, it's all coming back to me now. Oh uh, I, it's been a few weeks since we saw it. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, and have I remembered much from it? But now that you mention it, it's all flooding back to me now. It's so weird because Geraldine James plays so many comedy roles, but when she plays the dark roles, the drama, drama stuff that she's played before, and she's, like some really frightening characters. It wasn't like that she was, you know, one of the main characters, but every line that came out of her mouth was terrifying. Oh my God. <laughs> so she's basically trying to control her daughter. Um, she throws a party for her daughter. She just doesn't want to be at the party. So she runs off, goes to a club, meets a guy who really is in some ways the, the complete opposite of her. But then we find out that they're quite similar in a lot of ways, but it's set in Jersey. And it's just the perfect location because for me, growing up in Cornwall, I just think that can be such a creepy place too. And the such a idyllic places. It's such a small, picturesque island where everybody probably knows everybody, and you know, a very small community. And there's a lot of gossip that goes around, so you can imagine why she wants to protect her daughter, who got into a bit of trouble yeah. when she was a kid. Yeah, she did, <laughs> as is revealed in the movie. Um, there's a lot of surprises. I think it's it's one of those films that, you know, you think you know one thing, but you don't, because the rug is just completely pulled from beneath your feet. Um, did it surprise you? Because I, I was just transfixed by the whole thing. I just didn't know where it was going throughout the whole thing. I have thing. to say, from the very first frame, I was like, wow, I'm just so into the characters of this movie. And it was just one of those movies that, every scene is so delicately done and it keeps you guessing and as to you know basically who is the killer on this island who's yeah. you know killing all these women and you know it, it's a bit of a who does it but um the characterization and the beauty of um that was poured into creating these characters is really something special and it's something I haven't seen in a British film I thought for quite a while. It was yeah. superb. Johnny Flynn, Jesse Buckley. I mean, Geraldine James is always great in things, but there's one particular scene where they're in the kitchen and it's just after the party and it's the day after the party. Obviously, she's wandered off because she didn't want to be involved. And her mother, Geraldine James, is just questioning her and why she wasn't there and why she sloped off. And she's got the cake there. And she goes to eat the cake and her mother's kind of being nice to her but equally being really controlling mm -hmm. as well at the same time and she mm -hmm. kind of I, yeah, she has that sinister side to her but the movie isn't all about the mother <laughs> it's not, but i think it's, it's quite an important part of yeah. the story though because obviously she's suffocated by their family life isn't she so she wants to escape when she falls upon pascal you find out that um yeah she really wants to get out and find her own way in life and live a bit dangerously and get out of that controlling vice that has her family. You can tell that she she secretly hates each and every one of her family yeah. members. And also the, the town cop who has a bit of a thing for her as well, um, who they all want her to probably end up with. And she's like, no, uh, 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 I'm going to do this my way. At the beginning, you think that she's, you know, Soft. kind of happy in her idyllic yeah. life, but actually it turns out she's not. But... She gets involved, obviously, with the boyfriend who seems quite free-spirited. But then, you know, there's a lot of darkness that comes out of that. And that darkness is really who is the beast. It's a game of, like, guessing throughout the whole way through. And maybe at the end you don't find out the answer, but... And it's not one genre either. It's obviously got horror elements to it. But I think the closing moments really is more of what you would say is perhaps a cliche horror movie. But... It didn't spoil it for me. I mean, that, that ending I thought was 
fantastic. It's brilliantly shot as well. There was a couple jump out of your seat moments. I was surprised too because I wasn't expecting it. But it's just the whole creepiness of it. Though. Yeah. It just felt really creepy. I think it's because of the setting again. It, it you know because you know that there's a darkness lurking in places that are beautiful sometimes, especially when they're so desolate. Yeah, like Jersey is. And also important to mention, somewhat based on a true story, uh, the director said afterwards in the Q and A that um, there was a series of killings that happened in his small town where he grew up so he kind of captured sort of the essence of what it was like growing up in such a small community knowing that there was a serial killer on the loose so interesting well i thought it was fantastic I, i'm gonna give it four stars i'm gonna give it 3.75 yeah i mean i was really really entertained it's probably a movie i couldn't watch again um but i really enjoyed it fantastic movie um if you're slightly curious about it, at all just go out and see it i think you'll be pleasantly surprised as i was and if you like this video don't forget <coughs> to give us a thumbs up uh, you might actually enjoy another video that we did recently of the handmaid's tale which was season one that was last year we did that you've seen season two or some of the season two i've seen two episodes of season two i'm waiting for you to catch up phil yeah we're gonna say that <laughs> for another video thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>